All right, we're on, guys. So hello and welcome, and um, thanks for being here. If I haven't met you before, because I know this is a new coach call, so I'm assuming there are quite a few new coaches here. Um, my name is Don Murphy, so it's a pleasure to meet you if I haven't in the past. Um, I signed up as a beach body coach back in January of 2012, so I'm pushing almost to my five-year anniversary, and the topic that I'm going to talk about tonight is one that I think makes a massive difference in how well you do in this business. Um, and the more and the longer that I've been in it and the longer that I've worked or the more that I've worked with new coaches that I've recruited into the business, the more I've really seen a direct correlation between the ones who succeed and their level of belief in not just the business model of the way we operate as beach body coaches, but also their belief in the products, their belief in what they're doing for people and their belief in their own personal ability to do this. And so what I'm going to talk to you about tonight is, you know, I'm going to probably take about 20 minutes or so, and then we can just open it up to some, some Q and a and open dialogue. I want to hit upon those points that I just mentioned in a bit more detail when it comes to the power of belief and why it's so important in this business, because what I have found are the new coaches that have come in who don't succeed. Very often it comes down to a belief that it's just not for them. It's not their thing or perhaps they don't really believe wholeheartedly in how beneficial these products and programs are for people. And just to give you a little bit more about my background and, and why my belief is so profound in this business and in these products. I've been in the fitness industry for most of my life, call it 25 years. Uh, my mother opened up her first gym in 1986. And so I grew up in the world of fitness. Um, I've been a trainer. I, I am now the managing partner and the co-owner of a very large gold gym franchise in Newburgh, New York. So I love the gym world. And I became involved with the company Les Mills International a number of years ago as a, as a national trainer and presenter for body pump and body combat. I've been involved in a whole slew of different fitness programs throughout my life. And five years ago, I was introduced to Beachbody, which to me at the time was nothing more than P90X and Insanity that I was seeing on TV. I didn't know anything about the company. And the reason that I was called into the company or somebody called me to ask if I would become a coach um, was the fact that they had teamed up with Les Mills. I was, I was part of Les Mills. And I was, they asked me to take a closer look at this company, Beachbody, because of how much they believed in the goodness of the programs and products. And so I did that. And it didn't take me long to realize and conclude from the bottom of my heart that after all my years of fitness experience, being in the gym world, being a trainer, teaching classes, an instructor, like I've done it all, I concluded that these, what I call pathways, they're pathways in exercise and nutrition. These pathways are among the best in the world for helping people to lose weight, get healthy, and lead a very healthy lifestyle. Like they're that good. The plans are so dialed in that if you just follow what the plans tell you to do when it comes to both your workouts and your nutrition, you are going to experience life-changing results. I believe that wholeheartedly. Because I started seeing what it was doing for people that I knew, then people who became my customers, and then me personally, you know, I'm becoming a product of the product. And that's something that is very important as one of the vital behaviors, as you guys probably know, being a product of the product. And the reason that being a product of the product is so important in the business is because it instills a deep hearted belief in how freaking awesome these programs are. Like when you drink Shakeology every day and you eat properly according to what these programs are telling you to do and you exercise every day 
according to the program that you might be doing. When you do those things day in and day out, you undoubtedly are going to feel better in every aspect of your life. And I'm not just talking about the weight that you're losing or the fact that your, your clothes are fitting better, you know, in the, in the physical side of it. The physical side of it is awesome. I mean, that's a big motivating reason that a lot of people choose to do these programs. But it's all the stuff that happens beyond that in terms of your self-esteem, your self-confidence, your mental outlook, your relationships, the way you perform at work, like all these things in your life get better when you follow these plans on a day-to-day -day basis. And my belief in that became so intense that I, when I signed up my first year, I got so freaking excited about the business that I could actually sell these programs and products to people who maybe couldn't get to the gym, who maybe didn't have time, or, or maybe that wanted a plan to follow when they went to the gym instead of meandering around trying to figure out, well, what fitness equipment should I use and what class should I try? Like they don't have any idea of what to do when they go to the gym. So to me, these solutions were so beneficial that I jumped all over it. And I started reaching out to so many others that I knew in the industry to say, look, I got involved in this, this business opportunity with Beachbody and you may or may not have heard about it, but I think you should take a look at this because I really believe in it. I believe in it so profoundly. And people saw how much it was resonating with me that it was almost like they had no choice but to look at it. And so in my first year, I just went on a rec I just started recruiting and recruiting and recruiting. And within two years, I had gotten myself to the rank of six star diamond. And I have a team now, Team Euphoria is about 1500 coaches strong. Um, and I'm very happy to say that my wife got involved because I was so involved with it and, and she's doing quite well now. And so together we've, we've built this thing over the past five years, all the while I'm still owning and operating that gold gym in Newburgh. But the thing that drove me guys was my belief in these programs and products and, and the goodness that they're bringing to people. So if you, if you are at a point, you know, you're, you're new, again, this is supposedly for new coaches. And if you're not a new coach, you've been in it for a while, but maybe you're just trying to, gain more insight and knowledge. I'm telling you that the belief that you have in what these programs and products do for people is the number one thing that can really just make everything else happen. Because if you're kind of teetering and not sure whether it or not this is for you, you probably haven't hit that feeling deep down of, holy crap, I've got to get out there and share this with so many people that I know because I know what it's done for me. I know how good I feel. And I know so many people that need this in their life. So, you know, it's just a sharing mechanism because you believe in that so wholeheartedly. Um, so that's call it belief in the products. The other thing I want to talk about believing in is the business model. This business of network marketing, call it multi-level marketing, is one in which through the years has gotten a bad rap. And it's primarily because there have been companies out there in the past that appear to be what we call pyramid schemes. And I don't know if you've heard that term before or not, or you've had people say, oh, is that one of those pyramids where all the people at the top make the money and I got to go out and sign up a bunch of people. There is a perception of that that resonates out there because people have had that experience in the past. And by believing wholeheartedly in this business model and believing that it's not a pyramid and believing in the structure that is so good for anybody that enters this business, you can overcome a lot of that objection. And so this is how I do it. I believe in network marketing. I think it's such a powerful way to get, programs and products out to the masses through people who believe in them, through people who have had personal experience with them. And what better way to share something with someone than to share your personal experience with it, that you yourself have used the program and product. You've, done, you've drank Shakeology and you know how it's made you feel. You're sharing from your heart what that's done. And as a result, people are drawn to what you're sharing with them. And I know I'm getting on a tangent a little bit here, but let me give you an analogy. 
How many of you ever gone to a good restaurant or you've seen a great movie and like you're stoked about it? You know, you see a great movie and then the next day you're at work and you're telling people about the movie. You know, it's like, wow, Rob, you know, I went and I saw this great movie last night. It was fantastic. Like, you know, you just tell them about it. The way you're talking about it gets them to respond in a way that they're like, I got to go see this thing. And they go and see that movie because the way you have spoken about it based on your experience with it. Same thing when you go to a good restaurant, you enjoy the ambiance, you enjoy the service, you enjoy the food, whatever it is. You've had a really good experience in a local restaurant. So when somebody's asking you about restaurants, hey, you know what? I went to this restaurant. It was awesome. This was my experience. Boom, boom, boom. And you're just telling them from the heart what you experienced. It's no different than when you are doing these programs and products. You're sharing that in a business model that allows you to benefit from sharing it. When you, when you recommend a movie or you recommend a restaurant to somebody, that restaurant or movie theater is not compensating you for doing that. Beachbody compensates you for doing that. When people act upon your advice, when they act upon what you're sharing, that's, that's what network marketing it is. It's basically word of mouth sharing based on people's own belief and their own personal experience of the products themselves. So the companies that put out a business model to say, this is how we're going to get our products to the masses. They believe in the concept of sharing from people who believe in that stuff, who believe in their products versus let me go put these products on a store shelf in Walmart. Walmart doesn't give a crap about these products. They don't experience them. They just want to sell them, but they don't share from the heart. So the, the, the model of network marketing, I think is brilliant. And here's the cool part about it. This business of network marketing and the structure of Beachbody, it's called binary network marketing. As you guys know, we've got a right leg and a left leg. You have two legs in any binary network marketing system. And in a binary system, anybody can come into the business whenever they want and make of it whatever they want and quickly start out earning the people above them. It does not matter where you're positioned in this quote unquote pyramid. And if you were to take a huge <clears throat> call it wall and, and plot out all the coaches in the network, 460,000 coaches, and identify where the top income earners are in this massive wall of 460,000 coaches. And even if you set it up that, okay, here's the coaches that started nine years ago. And then these are the ones that came in eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago. And if you layered it like that, when you identify who the top income earners are, it's all over the map. It's not the people at the top. There's people at the top that are making nothing because they chose not to do anything with the business. So it's not a pyramid scheme or structure where all the people at the top make the money. This is a binary network marketing system where you make of it what you want to make of it based on your belief in it and based on how much you're willing to work. And I think that's pretty cool that you can start a business for $39.95 with no risk or overhead and have that opportunity of unlimited financial potential for sharing programs and products that you know and believe in through word of mouth. You know, it's just, I don't know why to me it just makes so much sense that who, why wouldn't you want to do this <laughs> if you are into exercise and nutrition and your belief in the programs and products? Why wouldn't you want to start a little business on the side to earn some supplemental income and take it to whatever level you want? So for me, it was like I jumped in and I saw the, the, the opportunity. My belief in it was there. I ran so fast and so hard and I, did, I got it to where my wife and I combined are earning well into the six figures annually with this incredible business model. And it's gotten to a point, this is the reality of this guys. It's a business where even once you've built what you've built, there's times where life gets in the way. And I know that like life gets in the way and you get distracted. You can't do the daily behaviors all the time. Maybe even take a four week hiatus. You're just, you're distracted by stuff going on in life, whatever it may be. The business, once it's built, doesn't go away. 
those income checks continue to happen. It's, a, it's just like, wow, you, know, you almost start to feel like you're getting paid for not working. But that's not how you build long-term success. I'm just sharing that with you because I've had those times and I've been in a bit of time recently with our gym where we're undergoing massive renovation and construction. It's taken up all my time. And I've been fretting a bit about my beach body business because I haven't been as focused on it as I was in the past. But my income and my checks have remained the same week to week. And I'm just like, this is so fascinating to me. But it was because of all the hard yards in the endless hours, when I say endless hours, I wanted to work endless hours because I loved it and I still love it and I believe in it so much. So that my first year or two, I just went for it so big. I didn't watch TV. I believed in what this could build for me and my family and it happened. So your belief in the products, your belief in the business model. Um, I just have some notes here, I just wanna make sure I don't skip anything. Um, the belief in your own personal ability. We all have self-doubt at times. We all doubt whether or not, you know, am I as good as that person? Can I do what that person's doing? The answer is yes. You just have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to venture into uncomfortable territory if you want to grow. And I've had coaches that, have come in on my team that I see so much potential in, but they don't believe in their ability to do what some of the successful coaches have done. And, and, and it's, it's really, I find it disheartening because I see the potential in them, but they don't see the potential in themselves. I'm telling you, every single person who becomes a coach with Team Beachbody has the ability and the opportunity to be as big as any of those top coaches. You just have to believe that this model is right for you. You have the belief in the products and you have to believe that you have the personal ability to do it. And if you're going, well, I know for a fact right now that I can't get in front of a camera and speak to a live audience or I'm very uncomfortable doing X or Y or Z, whatever it may be, those are your weak, your weak points that you dive into self-development. Like self-development is part of the growth process. You know, that's why we have this abundance of learning through these videos that so many coaches have made in any given topic you could imagine, in addition to the endless lists of great self-development books. Like that self-development stuff is profound. You know, some of the best leaders and some of the best coaches in the network came from backgrounds of having no type of experience whatsoever in any of this. They learned, they, they dove into self-development because they believed that they could do it. And they applied themselves 100% to get where they wanted to be. And here they are now standing on stage at Summit in front of thousands of people sharing their stories. Any one of you guys can be up there. Any one of you guys can be earning that lucrative income where you're like, wow, I'm achieving my financial dreams for doing what I love working when I want from home. That's a pretty cool thing that this opportunity provides. So th those were the, the main points I wanted to hit upon when it comes to belief, but self-confidence, belief in the products, the business model, and your own personal self will take you to the stratosphere as a beach body coach. And there's going to be the naysayers and the doubters and the people that say to you, because I've dealt with it, for five years, not so much anymore, but in the beginning, I had people going like, like, what are you doing that stuff for? Like, that's not you. I'm like, what do you mean that's not me? <laughs> who, who is the ideal person for it? I feel like I'm good, I am good at this because I freaking believe in this company and what they're doing with these programs. The world needs it. There's a lot of people out there that need help and these programs help people beyond comprehension at times. I, 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 it blows my mind to see what these programs and products have done for customers that I've worked with. It's changed their lives. You know, we're not selling water filters. We're selling life-changing stuff that can be very, very profound beyond just the physical level. You know, I tell people emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, 
you will become a better person. When you fuel your body with the right nutrition and you work out on a daily basis based on your fitness level and where you're at right now. Make it part of your life and change your life. And that's how I talk to people. And when they hear that depth of belief, it's kind of like, sign me up. <laughs> you know? And so that's how, you, that's how you go at it with people, both customers and potential coaches. So um, with that, comments, dialogue, questions. And, you know, we don't have to necessarily stay on the topic of belief. If you guys have anything else you want to bring to the table um, or pick my brain as a fitness professional, you know, anything you want, it's open game. I think one of the things that I struggle with is, yes, I could possibly – I could be up there, you know, with the other coaches. Yep. But I think I expect so much of myself that if it doesn't happen, I kind of like get down on myself and then I kick myself and beat myself up. Like, why didn't this person do this? Why did this person do that? So it kind of like stops me from reaching that potential that I know I have. So explain it to me again, Rob. Like you're, you're saying to me that you start to question – when you say, why didn't this person do this? Or why didn't that person do that? Like, what do you mean by that? I start to question my ability. So what do you mean when you say, why didn't this person do this? Or why didn't this person do that? Who's well, this well, you know, the people that I talk to, it's like I put on the videos. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. I put on the videos. I talk about it all the time. I, I go Facebook Live all the time. But when I don't hear anything or when someone's not interested, that's when I start beating myself up. It's like, what am I doing wrong? Okay. Good point. And I can just from my own personal experience, like, and what I see a lot of coaches do, they are good at putting themselves out there and they're doing live things and they're sharing the programs and products and what they're doing for them. And it's kind of like you're putting yourself out there, which can be very uncomfortable so you take that plunge and you start putting yourself out there and then it's like you're getting crickets. You're not hearing much in return. You're like, what the hell are you doing wrong? 99% of the time, it's that you're not connecting with people individually and learning about their needs and really getting to know people on an individual level. Like it's one thing to, to get up and broadcast to the world how good you feel because of the products and um, – you know, do a live video of you working out to one of the programs and sharing the results and all that. But that is all, that is all, while it might be inspiring, it's all, call it me based. It's all about me. This is what I'm doing. I feel great. These programs are great. I love this business. You know, it's just like, this is how I feel. So you're putting out that positive energy, but to the person that's watching it, it's kind of like, cool. Um, how can I, how do you invite me to what you're experiencing? And it's really through that one-on-one -on -one individual connection. And when I'm talking about individual connection, it's like, it's, it's getting to know people on a really deeper level through a lot of questions. Like the more questions you ask of people when you're talking to them individually versus just sharing what the programs are doing for you and sharing how much you love being a coach. It's all well and good to let them know that you, you know, you feel positive about what you're doing, but you really have to turn the conversation to them and start asking them a lot of questions. You know, like I, I am always, my big opening question is um, with people who either talk to me or want to know more about what I do as a coach or they want to know more about the fitness side of what I'm doing. My first question or my first response is to not sharing with them. I don't answer their question. I turn the table and say, well, tell me what you're doing right now for your exercise. You know, tell me what you're doing right now for work. What do you love most about your current job? If you could change something about your current job or your current career, what would it be? You know, so now I'm talking about the business, you know, do I see an opportunity to share the business opportunity with them? Or is it somebody that I think could be a good, uh, a good customer who needs help in fitness? I don't just start 
sharing the benefits of what our programs and products do, I start asking them questions about what are their challenges, what have they done in the past, what are they currently doing, what are you currently doing for nutrition? What's the biggest challenge you find when it comes to losing weight and keeping it off? What's been your biggest struggle in the past? And the more you ask questions of people, the more they start to appreciate the fact that you're taking a genuine interest in them. You're not just spewing to them your programs and products and your business opportunity. You're parking all that stuff. That stuff will come later. Right now, I just want to learn more about you. Share with me where you're currently at. What have you done in the past? Why didn't it work? It's, I actually have a document, and I'll share it. I'll share it on the page. It's called The Magic of Selling Fitness and Changing Lives. And it's a document that provides a whole – I wrote out this – I did this document a couple of years ago for my team, and it's a list of open-ended questions that I very often use when I'm in dialogue with people. And it's the stuff that I'm sharing with you now. It's this, just an, a list of questions that gets me to learn more about the person that I'm talking to. And so I think what happens for a lot of coaches is it's awesome. They believe in what they're doing. They believe in the products and they, they're putting themselves out there. But that's all they're doing. They're not taking the time to connect individually to learn about people and where they're at and what their challenges are and how you can find that, that window of here's how I can help you. You know, I, I, I could talk about this, guys, for hours. Like, it's just because I get so excited about it. But here's, like, here's another thing that I do. The nutrition side to me is everything. Like, a lot of people are doing some type of activity or they're working out in a gym or they're riding their bike or they're running. Some people aren't doing anything. So, great, we can get the exercise going. But when it comes to the Shakeology side of things, I am always diving into people's nutrition. Like, tell me. Because somebody will be like, God, you know, I'm, I'm working out, I'm doing this, but I just can't lose this weight or I'm, my body's not changing the way I want. I feel tired. I just always go, I want you to tell me everything that you ate and drank for the past two days. Like, write it down for me. I want you to list out everything that you ate and drank from the moment you woke up to the moment you went to bed. Just write it down for me. Send it to me in an email. Will you do that for me? Okay, I'll do that for you. When I get that information, immediately I can identify that their, their nutrition sucks. It's like 99% of the time, it's like, that is horrible. They think it's good. Most people think, I do pretty good with nutrition, but the reality is most people don't. So then it becomes a question of, let me help you identify where we might be able to slide in what I consider to be the, the healthiest dose of nutrition you can put in your body on a daily basis to help you with the stuff that you're complaining about. So you're looking at this list of food and drink items that they've had for the past few days. And I just, the next step I always go to is I want you to put a price tag next to every one of those items. Like what did that coffee cost you in the morning? What did that deli sandwich cost you at, at lunch? And all those things you had for dinner, what did that cost you? And how about that snack? What did that cost you? Like write down, what it costs you. And then the next step in that is you circle one or two things on each day that could so easily be replaced with that shake for $4 and 33 cents. I'm not adding to your financial spending with this shake. I'm suggesting I am telling you that if you replace that with the shake, so it's still, we're, we're just, we're replacing it. We're not adding money. We're replacing the money that you're spending. Put that shake in its place and you will see and feel a difference. And if you don't, we cancel the order. You can even send that bag back empty and we'll refund your money. You know, so I'm just sharing with you the whole psychology side of things. Like in our gym, we're selling $6,000 a month in psychology. Like we have psychology sales rocking in our gym because this is the dialogue that I frequently have with people. You talk to me at the gym. And what, I'm, what I love sharing is with the coaches out there, how you can do this. You know, this is not about selling. It's about sharing and helping. But, Rob, I'm sorry to get long-winded, but getting back to your point, man, just it's okay. connect with people individually. 
like and ask ask a shitload of questions like and really take an interest take an interest and one of the things one of the cool ways of ending the dialogue so that you don't have to feel okay now i gotta freaking sell like now i gotta now i gotta somehow suggest the product for them to buy yeah. just after you've gotten all the information so let's say you i've asked you a ton of questions and i'm, I'm like writing down the stuff you're sharing with me i'm gonna say rob you know what Thank you so much for everything you've just shared with me. I want to take a, a look at what I have at my fingertips as, as a coach that I think would really, really benefit you. But let me just do a little more research to identify what I think is going to be best. And then what I do is I take everything you shared with me and I, and I identify, and again, I'll share the document that has all those questions. I identify, and usually I know right away in my head, but sometimes it's like, ah, you know what? Maybe they should, maybe I should, I should, should suggest the 25 challenge pack. You know, I'm going to learn about where you're at in your fitness, what you've done in the past, what your challenges are, what your goals are, all that stuff I take into consideration so that when I come up with my recommendation, it's a program that's suited to your needs. It's not necessarily, well, this is the program that's on sale this month. I don't get involved in that stuff. I'm always interested in the best fit for that person that I'm talking to. And nine times out of 10 now, it's becoming the Beachbody um, On Demand and Shakeology Challenge Pack. Like On Demand is, it's the home run. It's, it has got everything anybody could ever need to get in shape. And it's got workouts that suit all fitness levels. So now I'm able to say, I mean, the, 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 the comeback, when I come back to you, Rob, with my recommendation, I'm coming back with, Rob, my God, I've got, it's amazing. We've got this thing now. It's like the Netflix of fitness. I can get you started with over 400 workouts, but I'm going to identify for you what I think are the best ones for you to follow. Plus that the meal replacement shake I was talking about, Shakeology, it's 30 days worth. Plus we've got the portion fixed eating plan it's all bundled together in this on-demand challenge pack and i really believe that's the solution that's going to help you get where you want to be so if you're cool with it man i'm going to send you the purchase link yes please yeah and <laughs> and then we go from there like i'm going to work with you because i want to help you identify which workouts to get going with and i'll throw you into my accountability group and i'll keep you going it, that's it. You know, it's just understanding the value of that challenge pack bundle. It's crazy what they're giving away now. They're basically giving away the fitness programs mm. with on demand. And now they've thrown in the portion fix eating plan. They've included that with the challenge pack. It's crazy. The thing is though, a lot of the newer programs aren't uh, like core to force you have to buy the DVD before it gets on there. Correct. And so for that reason, unless somebody is asking me about Core to Force, I'm not bothering. The Core to Force thing, like in any of the new launches, those are for existing customers. Those are for customers who have already had experience and love the Beachbody programs. Those are the customers I reach out and say, hey, we've got this awesome new kick-ass program coming out called Core to Force. I know how much you liked hammer and chisel quarter of force this is what the findings have been and so they're probably going to be really psyched about it because they've already had a prior experience i don't i'm not just going to talk to somebody who knows nothing about beach body and talk to them about quarter of force because it's the new program and it's on sale like, I, don't, I don't go there i go to the whole library of what beach body offers and i match them up with the solution that i feel is best but I will say that about 80% of the time now, that solution is becoming the on-demand and Shakeology Challenge Pack. Okay. Because I believe, again, going back to belief, I believe it's the most valuable product that Beachbody offers now. For $140, you get all those programs in the library. You get your first month of Shakeology. You get the portion fix eating plan. Like, holy crap. Yeah. So... I appreciate it, Don. Thank you. No, thank you. It was a, it was a good question. Let's see. Uh, question from Judy. We're in Canada and watching like crazy. Oh, yeah, for the vote. I know. Can you give us some examples of how you 
approach people on a personal level, online and in person. One of my big opening lines is, um, if I'm talking to somebody, I will just ask, you know, what kind of plan or system are you on? With or what kind of plan or system do you follow when it comes to your exercise and eating? You know, I ask that question a lot in the gym, but I'll also ask that question with people just in day-to-day -day conversation. You know, as if conversation turns in the direction of, um, you know, what do you do for fun, hobbies, activities, sports, outdoor activities? What do you do for fun? You know, just day-to-day -day dialogue. Um, I am not the best. I will say this. I'm not the best at just talking to people cold. It's just not me. And it never will be. Like, I need to have a bit of a connection on a personal level in some way before the conversation even ventures into that territory. Um, but sooner or later, it usually does. Like somebody is either whining about the fact that they're tired or they're overweight or they don't like their gym or just everybody's involved with fitness and nutrition at some level or not at all. And so they need help too. Like everybody needs help in this arena. So the questions for me, just they're very soft and gentle. It's, I don't even talk about beach body. I don't talk about the fact that I'm a coach. I just say, you know, like, what do you do for, do you follow any type of system or program now when you're working out? Well, no, I go running. How's that working out for you? Well, I love running. Awesome. Is it helping you get where you want to be in terms of your fitness goals? Like, are you in the shape you want to be? Well, no, I, I wouldn't mind being, you know, a little more toned and firm, you know, whatever it may be. And it's like, I know how you feel. I say, I actually work with a lot of people who feel the same way. And we have a number of programs and solutions that, I, that I'm involved with, with the company Beachbody. Love to share more with you if you're ever interested. You know, but it's just very soft and gentle. And a lot of times it's just planting seeds that I know will sprout in the future. You know, you just, people are in that funnel for, for a long time sometimes, which is why, oh my God, it's 938. I'm sorry, guys. Which is why um, this is a great time of year, guys, for you to be having a lot of conversations, planting seeds, because come January, it is the time of year when people will come back to you. It's the home run season for health and fitness. New Year's resolutions and weight loss goals, it's just, it's the annual cycle of health and fitness. Plus with the Beachbody Health back coming back. It's, Rob, exactly. Like, what a massive opportunity that is to invite friends and family and people you know to say, hey, guys, I'm putting together this awesome support group in January. There's two to three million dollars that's being awarded for people that get great results. We're going to have fun with it. Who wants in? And then when people say they want in, don't just start saying, well, here's the, here's the challenge pack price in, in, in Shakeology, and this is what you're going to do. No, 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 no. When somebody expresses interest or says, yeah, I'm interested, then you go to that, those questions that I was talking about. I'll share the sheet. You ask questions. Ask just, why are you interested? What are the two things you'd like to achieve by being in this support group that we're putting together in January? Is it for the money? Don't do it for the money. Do it for what do you want to achieve? Learn about people, then offer the solutions. So, Sorry, I know I'm rambling and I'm getting on tangents and stuff, and I, I hope I'm not uh, boring you guys. But well, it's a lot of good information, definitely. Anything else? Does anybody have any uh, self-doubt as a coach? It's okay to say, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure it's for me. Yeah. Hey, Judy. So uh, a little off the topic, Don, because you're talking about gym and stuff and being a gym owner. Um, I ha we have a small town gym it's a big gym in our small town i should say and uh they're kind of important people in our town i don't know if that makes any sense but how would i go to them with beach body because 
the portion control, Shakeology, like I feel like, and they have a couple trainers in their gym who I'm friends with and it's like, how, how do I approach them? Because my confidence level is obviously when it comes to, to helping people with their fitness, it feels like it's down below what theirs would be. So I feel like how would I approach them when they maybe know more about all this than I do? You know what I mean? I understand what you mean. Are these, uh, are you talking about approaching them like about the business opportunity? Yeah, the business and just how they could make, how they could bring Beachbody into their business that they're already doing. One of the things you could do, and because this is the big question I ask a lot of fitness professionals is what kind of, uh, nutrition business or what kind of nutrition offering do you currently provide for your clients most fitness professionals and gyms are not they're doing little to nothing like gym owners and fitness professionals for the most part are really good at the exercise part of what they're giving members and clients a lot of times they really fall down when it comes to nutrition because they don't really have a system that they follow you know so it's just asking and learning more about what they're currently doing and then maybe they have an, an incredible infrastructure of a nutrition based plan that's part of the business some gyms do um and if they do then it might not be a fit shakeology i believe is a fit everywhere but for us it was i identified portion fix and shakeology as being home run nutrition solutions for the entire gym population like like no matter what your nutrition beliefs are they choose the foods they want to eat and portion fix just dials them into the proper quantities you're consuming in those macronutrient groups on a daily basis like to me that is so fundamental and easy to follow that the average person needs that type of structure um, so we embraced it wholeheartedly and we're, it's become basically our official nutrition plan. So to your point, I know it's hard. Like trainers, gym owners very often have big egos. They, they know a lot and whatever they're doing is the best. So with that, for me, it, it, it's always just learning, well, what, are you, what do you guys currently do for nutrition guidance? What do you offer? Is there something that you're offering as a gym that is bringing revenue into the facility? These are all fair questions to ask a fitness professional. And if the answers are, mm, not really, or we don't really have something system, systematic, there's opportunity there for them to jump on a, a call and learn a bit more about what coaching provides and what it offers. If you ever are in that situation, I'm happy to do a three-way call with, you know, I've done tons of calls with gym owners and fitness professionals to share how we've done it. And I've shared bottom line numbers of how it's excelled our business. And I'm happy to do that. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. So so find out first, what are they doing? Yeah. That's okay. it. So you're just, you're just learning. You just got to learn and learn. The more you know about how they currently operate, the more potential there is for you to identify an opportunity that you could fill a void. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? What's the latest... What's the latest in Florida? It was so, they were like, they were like a thousand apart from each other an hour ago. I was like, what? It was crazy. Florida's nuts. Let me see. I think it's leaning, leaning toward Trump. Yeah. I think it was so. Before they were neck and neck. And uh, Trump kind of like pulled out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I saw so. So guys, does it you know the stuff about belief? Does it make sense? Yes. Well, it's a topic that I've never spoken on. Like Christine was like, "Can you talk about belief?" And I at first I was like, "I don't know," and then it just kind of was like, "Yeah, definitely." Like believing in those things that I talked about. If you don't have that, you're not you're probably not going to do well in the business. To recap it, it's belief in 
programs and products because you, you yourself are doing them. You know what it does for you. It's belief in the business model. This is not a shady pyramid scheme. This is such an awesome way for a company to grow through like, you know, we're like, uh, we are their, their advocates because we believe in the programs and products of the company. So who better to share and get, get it out there through word of mouth? and be compensated for it and then believe in your own personal ability like and if you if you're shy and you're not you know like man i don't know if it's me self-development self-development and more self-development like dive in and that self-development will enhance not only your journey as a coach but all the other aspects of your life that's what i love too about the company like you just grow as a person not just as a coach you grow as a person in this company i believe that i've seen it i love it this company kicks ass. That's all I can say. Yeah. All right. You're right, it does. Cool. All right, guys. Yeah, hey, thank everyone you. who uh, chat one on one, you've got my Facebook. You know, send me a Facebook message, and I'm happy to get on the phone with you about anything. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Don. Okay. Thank you very much, Don. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Let's go back to the election. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great have a, have a great night. <laughs> you too. We'll see you. Bye.